Uh, Barry, uh, good afternoon to all the learners uh, and especially uh, to Dr. Abhishek Chandra, my good friend. I welcome you in this session, uh, sir, uh, for, and uh, thanks before starting the session. I thanks you again for uh, I mean, your valuable time and you are uh, for uh, accepting our request uh, to take this session. In fact, uh, this uh, postgraduate diploma in sustainability science class session is not about only the teaching the uh, basic what the concept. It is also about uh, co involve uh, co generation of knowledge uh, through the interaction between. Uh, students and teacher, including the whole team of sustainable science in IGNO. So with this, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce uh, my good friend, Dr. Avishak Chandra. Dr. Avishak, uh, after completion of his master in uh, environment and science, uh, he did his uh, PhD uh, from University of Delhi, and his bachelor area is on agrobiodiversity management, and uh, uh, you know, uh, his basic uh, research training started from ZENU and uh, did his uh, training uh, under uh, well-known Himalayan ecologist, uh, Professor K.G. Saxena. And uh, in that, uh, then again, he joined uh, in the same or less or same we are in the team, Professor K. S. Rao at Delhi University. After completion of his uh, PhD, also he extensively traveling the uh, most part of, I can say most part of the uh, central uh, Himalayan region, uh, central Himalayan region and looking into the, uh, what is exactly, I mean, the processes, activities happening uh, in this uh, area from different perspective. With this uh, brief introduction, uh, uh, and as no, uh, he is presently teaching at uh, Department of Environment Science at Bangladesh College, University of Delhi. Uh, with this uh, small introduction, I welcome you again, and uh, Dr. Avishek, and I hand over to you for the session. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Yang Lim, and uh, for the nice introductions. And uh, I will take into this uh, interactive session. The shrinking agrobiodiversity, a case study of the Central Himalayas. Before going to this one, we firstly we can understand what are the things is going on in the agrobiodiversity ecosystem. Because as Dr. Yanglam is saying that it will be the mixed group, so it will be the I am the more happy to interact with all of you, and uh, you can ask me the question, and I will try to solve my uh, your problem as per my knowledge. So before going to this, uh, this one, the firstly thing is the coming to the agrobiodiversity. As you know, it is the made up of the two terms. One is the agriculture and another is the biodiversity. And we are the familiar with the, both the terms, agriculture as well as the biodiversity. Agriculture is the science and the practice of the farming, which is the cultivation and the cultivated the crop into the land. And uh, nowadays we are the doing so much in the agricultural land. So, and here is the diversity, which will be the develop into the agriculture field. And second term is the biodiversity, which is the include not only the plants, animal, but also the microorganism. So biodiversity is the varieties of the different type of the plants, animal and microorganism present into the, this planet. And when we are the combined, again back to the agrobiodiversity, it will be the come that the biodiversity is present into the agricultural field. It will be the include into the both biotic as well mm -hmm. as uh, abiotic, above and below ground biodiversity. If you are talking about the surface, so what are the biodiversity is present to the above the surface? that is called above ground biodiversity and the biodiversity is present below the earth surface is called below ground biodiversity. So in the agriculture field, both are the important. And where we can take in the case study that will be the traditional, where they are the basically 
taken to the mixed cultivation rather than the monocultivations. So dimension of the agrobiodiversity where we are the focus, the genetic resource of the food and the agriculture, component of the biodiversity which support the ecosystem services. Ecosystem services itself is the bigger term. And for the understanding of ecosystem services, I think the age of the human being is the 70 to 80 years is the very less. So it will be the very big phenomenon. And there is the abiotic factors, which will be the, and second, which influence the dimension of the agrobiodiversity because it will be the managed ecosystem. And all of the farmers will be depend upon the socio-economic and the cultural dimension. So it is about all the things from here to biodiversity, then agriculture, agrobiodiversity, then dimension. It is the all are the theoretical, but when we are the practical, firstly, we can think what are the things surround to us and how it will itself. Because the human is the firstly, in during the evaluation process, it will be the started from their uh, origin from the water and coming to the characteristic. Firstly, we are the living into the forest, then pay to the attention. What are the things is the beneficial for us? So we can also think about this uh, phenomena. What are the things surround to us? So first thing will be the come into the, our mind, that is the plant. Without the plant, we cannot do this. Of course, if we are to develop the, some technology and evolve chlorophyll inside our body, then it will be the totally different. And that time we don't need to be any plant, any things on this earth because we can also produce our the photosynthesis and make or food and liberate the oxygen but we cannot do this so we need to the plant second is the animal including the human being so these are the factors because the human nowadays we are the civilized and we are the sitting into the urban and the rural ecosystem urban and rural ecosystem is definitely different with the rural ecosystem, that is the agriculture system, where we are taken to the food grain, millets and everything. But in the urban ecosystem, we will be the import from the rural ecosystem. And animal is, the, is still, they are the living into the forest, grassland and different ecosystem. Air, of course, when we are the living into the Delhi, one thing will be the coming into the, our mind. Air is the polluted, and it will be the damage to the, our body and something. Second is the water. Our water is the always around to us. I am sitting in this room, you are the sitting into the that room, but water is around to you. How? Because the water will be the exist into the three form, solid, liquid, and gaseous. In the gaseous form, it will be the always around to us, which will be the called moisture and Without the moisture, our cell, our body cannot be grow. So water is the essential component in the each and everything. Next is the soil. Soil is the most important for uh, survival of the plants, animal and everything on this earth. And it is the one of the natural resource and which take these millions of the year to the to germinate if one gram of the soil, it will be the house of the varieties of the things. Because this lecture is not related to the soil, so I'm not going to this one, but it will be the basic component where we are getting all the things, the cultivation. Apart from this, whenever we are throwing something, the degradable material into the soil, it will be degraded. Of course, the human has been making the, some uh, different toxic substance, Example of the polythene and DDT, they will be take a lot of the times to the degradate. And sometime it will be the accumulate inside the our tissue and it will be the. And second is the fourth component is the temperature. Yeah, temperature is the phenomena which is the most important for the survival of the light and the things on this earth. Because the earth is the rotate their own axis. So temperature and the light both are the very with the rotation of the earth, their own axis. 
daytime it will be the different temperature different light but in the night it will be the different temperature different light apart from this earth is rotated around their own axis and it will be take near about 365 days so which will be the variation into the weather conditions and most important phenomenon the microorganism microorganism is the beneficial and negative aspect is also nowadays we are the pandemic that is the covid 19 which is the also the one type of the microorganism which is the facing all the human in the one uh, critical conditions that why we are the separated to the each other so these are the five plus three elements five is the and air water soil temperature and light and three is the plant animal and microorganism so we will are the putting into the these two categories one is uh, called non living and biotic component another will be living and biotic component so these are the basic component which will be the involved on the basis of this we can understand the ecosystem might be most of the participants will be the familiar with the here with the ecosystem ecosystem is the ecological system and it will be the also like the other system so if you are the not familiar with the ecosystem don't worry it will be the very simple firstly we will think about the system any system you can take the example of the any system that will be the political system education system our mobile phone our laptop that are the working in the one system so what will be the having our digestive system every in the examination system in each and every system we are the having the two component one is the structure and another is the function the structure point of view in the political one is the structure the hierarchy the president vice president secretary members etc and the function every function will be decided you can take the example of this mobile phone so mobile phone is the structure which will be just a structure for now what and second is the function when i will depress this thing then it will be the working style and something same will be the happening into the ecosystem in the ecosystem one is the structure another is the function so a structure point of view whatever we are the just in the previous slide which is the surround to us eight element five is the abiotic component and the biotic component these are the basically the structure point of view and when we are the talking about the function these are the direct function that is the nutrient cycle energy flow and second is the indirect function is the basically the population growth any system cannot be survive if the population growth is the not a positive if the if we are the draw this this things you can see here is the population and here will be the time if the with the time population will be the going increasing or the constant then the ecosystem will be the sustained if it is going like this after the time it will be the collapse and the population will be zero so there is the no meaning of the ecosystem of the population in the decreasing manner so if the ecosystem is the sustain and sustain sustainability then it will be the positive and nutrient cycle it is the most important the carbon nitrogen phosphorus sulfur water and oxygen carbon cycle because the carbon dioxide is little amount into the present into the atmosphere that is the 0.03% but in the nitrogen it will be the 78% so we are the worried about the carbon dioxide concentration into the atmosphere rather than the nitrogen phosphorus sulfur and the water because the whenever the oxygen this will be the little bit with the increasing that will will be cause the new new nutrient deficiency into the atmosphere and it will be the cause the global warming nitrogen it will be the 
available into the abandoned into the atmosphere that is the 78 percent out of 78 percent you can see it will be the how it will be the come into the ground there is the three mechanism first one is the atmospheric nitrogen fixation second is the biological nitrogen fixation and third one is the human introduced that is the industrial nitrogen fixation so one thing is the most important and the phosphorus and the sulfur it will be the coming from the weathering of the rock that will be the formation of this soil and the food chain and the trophic level food wave and ecological pyramid these are the function so whenever you are the found anywhere where the abiotic component is the present biotic component is the present abiotic nutrient and energy flow and getting the population growth then that area can be considered as an ecosystem so any place it will be the hypothetically where you are the found the biotic abiotic component with the nutrient and the energy flow that area can be considered as an ecosystem so biggest ecosystem will be the considered as a biosphere and biosphere on the basis of this it will be the divided into the two part terrestrial and aquatic the land where the terrestrial ecosystem and there is the water that will be the aquatic ecosystem so aquatic ecosystem and our agriculture is the totally depend upon the terrestrial ecosystem where the man is the paid the wild attendance to the plant and then it will be domesticated and cultivated into the agriculture field then it will become the agricultural biodiversity agriculture ecosystem concept and it will be the totally the man-made ecosystem rather than the natural ecosystem in the natural ecosystem each and everything will be the governed by the nature but in the man-made ecosystem every each and every step is the required the human requirement for the in the agriculture agriculture ecosystem the plowing is the done by the man seed is the provided by the man then it will be the uh, threshing and winnowing insecticide will be the provided by the human being even the after the maturation of the crop crop is the harvested by the human being so in the each and every case it will be the depend upon the socio economic culture we are the basically growing what we are the need so because the in the primitive past it will be the when we are the started the agriculture we are not dependent upon the market but nowadays the building of the road market strategy everything will be the available to the human being so it will be the quite so now we can see the genetic resource of the food and agriculture so animal biodiversity animal genetic resource include the domesticated of the animal and the wild animal which is the hunted for the food wild and the farm to so the fish and the other aquatic organism so you can see we are dependent upon the plant we are dependent upon the animals and the microbial including the fungal genetic resources which will be the use for the as a food so when we are doing these things what will be the happen the component of the biodiversity which support the ecosystem services upon which the agriculture is the based it include the diverse range of the organism that capture to various scale nutrient cycle as we are the mentioned in the pre previous slide carbon nitrogen phosphorus sulfur and the including the water and uh, one of the important cycle without uh, this one is the oxygen without the help of the oxygen no cycle will be complete carbon cycle will be complete with the co2 nitrous oxide in the nitrogen phosphate and the sulfate in case of the phosphorus and the sulfur and the water itself you can see it will be made up of the two component h2o so it will be this and this nutrient cycle is the required for the pest and disease regulations pollination our butterfly dragonfly and the so many insect which is the, given to the free of the 
we have the cost for the craft pollination and etc the pollution and the sedimentation regularization maintenance of the hydrological cycle the water is the exist into the free form solid liquid and gas how it will be converted from the liquid phase to the this uh, this one so you can see whenever it will be the happen so one phenomenon will be the happen the evaporation then the liquid will be the converted into the atmosphere and form the cloud when the cloud will be the sediment then it will be the down and reaches to the this uh, phenomena in the raindrop and erosion control the top most soil which will be the made up of the uh, organic horizon that will be the control and this erosion process and finally it will be the climate regulation as i told it will be the rotation of the earth around the sun so that will be the weather phenomenon and when we are the combined the 30 year data of the weather then it will be the climatic data so all will be the influence our the component of the biodiversity so such abiotic factor in the local and the chemical factors and the physical structure and the function of the ecosystem will be the determine the agricultural biodiversity in a particular area and the most important as i told it will be this uh, socio economic and the cultural dimension agriculture biodiversity is the largely shape and the maintenance of the human activity and the practice it will be the large number of the people depend upon the agriculture biodiversity and the sustainable livelihood because the when it will be the not made up to the road and the constructions so human being is the firstly pay to the attention to the wild cultivated plant then it will be the bring and the start the cultivated and it will be the improve cultural practice participatory approach because the that time we are not having the gene or gene bank or something so what will be the happen in the gadwal himalaya they will be the cultivated the paddy into the entire village then they will be the chosen particular the forest uh, farmer in a particular case where the crop is growing mature then they will be the store the seed of the particular forest farmer in the agriculture field and after that they will be the given to the compensate and as next year they will be sow the particular seed into the agriculture so these are the important of the agriculture biodiversity providing the human food and the raw material that will be such as cotton for the clothing wood for the shelter and fuel plant and root for the medicine material and the biofuel which is the come for the livelihood including the derivative for the sustainable farming and biodiversity which will be prefer to the such as uh, soil and the water conservation pollination soil fertility and biota which will be the involved into the below ground biodiversity and it will be the essential for the human survival so these are the important which will be the fruit high temperature drought and the water logging conditions so it will be the happening in the case of uh, phenomena and resistance to the disease based parasite for the example of the different type of the parasite which will be the available into the atmosphere and it will be the impact on the agriculture and the human being so it will be the depend upon the genetic diversity of the crop and what are the problems agriculture has the face two main challenges in relation to the biodiversity to sustain the agriculture ecosystem the agro ecosystem service provided by the necessary agriculture and mitigate the negative impact of the agriculture system on the agro biodiversity so this is the solution some uh, we are taken to the direct driver and indirect drivers both will be the involved and in the case of this the involvement it will be taken to the direct and indirect what are the direct you can see in these are the indirect demography economic socio 
politics these are the indirect and directly which will the impact to the entire area not only the particular things the climate change natural resource availabilities overuse of the agriculture and land use fragmentation these driver will be the continue to the loss of the biodiversity both the agriculture and the agro ecosystem threatening to the human well being to keeping this view in the direct indirect we are the maintain to the agro biodiversity so you can see in this picture it will be the indian himalayan state which is the marginal and where the large amount of the agro biodiversity is the available so basically you, uh, himalaya is the region which is the characterized by the undiluted terrain is for human population is small and the fragmented land holding rain fed subsisted agriculture low input output production system and it is the women centered agriculture how we are doing the so many research on the basis of this all this point is defined and the, this will be the conclusion because it is the fragile ecosystem low risk bearing capacity of the farmer and it to be rich in the plant animal and microbial diversity as i already said that it will be the ecosystem that will be the managed ecosystem and it will be the surrounded by the natural ecosystem so these are the reason for the shrinking of the biodiversity which we are the found in the himalayas change in the cropping pattern due to the economic consideration loss and the replacement of the traditional multi purpose trees population growth and the land fragmentation lack of the traditional knowledge out mitigation change in the food habit social value and life stock populations so these are the things on the basis it is you can see it will be the replacement for example the oat is the replacement of the tubinus this banyard millet is the conserve and it will be the replaced by the cajinus cousin similarly the finger millet that is the locally known as the goda it will be the replaced by the glycine mix buckwheat will be the replaced by the fasciolus vulgaris soya bean which is the native and it will be now replaced by the glycine mix barley is the replaced by the amaranthus horse gram is the replaced by the glycine mix paddy which is the locally known as the sati and they are growing nowadays they will be the replaced by the high yielding varieties because in the past they will be the growing the sati the paddy and the fodder portion uh, portion is used for the cattle and grain portion will be used for the human being but nowadays they are the growing the high ending oriza sativa the rice variety so it will be the more focus on the grain rather than the fodder portion similarly the foxtail millet will be the replaced by the glycine mix cashew key bean will be the replaced by the cajinus cousin black gram green gram and cowpea is the also replaced by the cajinus cousin and amaranthus because these are the replacement will be the happening because it will be the cultivated in the very easily and it will be the market rate for the uh, selling per kg is the high in comparison to the local varieties so when we are doing this uh, and asking to the in the all the altitudes in the middle lower and the higher we are found the traditional color consideration is the almost same in all the cases it will be the 36 but in the case of the avoid to the total crop failure crisis so they will be depend there is nothing much more change but little bit the change is the 98% and rather is the 100% so basically they will be the dependent upon the self sufficiency and reduce the dependency in the higher altitude that will be the 72% and the lower altitude it will be the 92 so it will be the depend and control of the weed population you can see here 
it will be the very less because in the higher altitude they will be the still managed with the mixed cropping so it will be the very difficult so in the higher they will be the grow for the soil status but in the case of the lower altitude you can see it will be the very less percentage and the middle and the high they will be the is still concerned about the soil status so it will be the homogeneous and they will be the growing and this is the scenario in which we are the found the crop land races it will be the decrease with the decline over the time period the five districts of the uttarakhand we are the discuss and it will be the found in the each and every cases it will be the decreasing over the 30 years now it will be the again decreasing so these are the things uh, which will be the important for the consideration and indicator for the conservation of the sustainable management of the traditional managed ecosystem in central himalaya change in the cropping pattern due to the economic consideration everyone is thinking that if i will be the eat the high yielding varieties the wheat i will not eat the kodo or something because although it will be the reach into the calcium but due to the economic consideration everyone thinking that no it will be the we will be not eat it with the black in color so it will be the i will eat only the rice wheat and directly indirectly our media will be the given to this now our younger generation is the also focus only the pizza and the burger rather than the rice and this so it will be the value added will be the some uh, companies and it will be the because they are the multiplies and the marketize in such a manner so everyone is the preferred to the this so basically they will be not growing to the this uh, cultivation and loss and the replacement of the traditional multi-purpose trees and now they will be the growing only the beneficial trees which will be the use for the economical benefit population growth and the land fragmentation because the land is the limited and the day by day the population from the 1960 to the till now the population is the growth so it will be the family land will be the divided into the different part the land fragmentation and lack of the traditional knowledge because it will be the happening because uh, most of the things uh, they will be the growing and they will be not considering and uh, because it will be not forward carry forward by the next generation so they will be the lose their traditional knowledge and most of the person will be the move from their own place to the another in the case of the out mid migration and change in the food habit because when it, they will be the considering for the lower economic consideration so they will be the change their food habit so they are not required to the degree uh, grow the traditional varieties of the in the biodiversity as uh, we have discussed the indicator the soil soil value and the population livestock population is the because they will be the uh, bringing to the that uh, crop and the inorganic fertilizer from the market so they are not required to the organic uh, things uh, which will be the grow so it is about uh, this one so any question in the, regarding to this this thinking and this uh, case study so we can stop here and uh, once you will be the asked then uh, if any question you can ask me after that if there is no question then we will be move to the another segment so If you are having any question, you can ask me. Otherwise, uh... Uh, uh, Dr. Sam, we can have discussion session after completion of the PPT presentation. Okay. Presentation completed. Uh, yeah, that is better. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, the uh, this is the livestock population and this uh, this thinking and the value of this population. So, yeah, I think the mic.
as we know the basically the himalayas is the prone for a land, one type of the disaster that will be the landslide because we know the indian plate is the continuously forcing to the eurasian plate and it will be the continuously is pressing then it will be the increase the height of the himalayas and reflecting to the, this uh, sudden in the indian plate and the collision so landslide is the one of the problem which will be the having in the entire and prone for the earthquake so they will be the develop the traditional agro diversity in such a manner to the variation of the ecological factor different agriculture practices land use practices so how they will be the maintaining the agro biodiversity in the particular area so they are the involve the different environmental biological and social economical status and indigenous agro ecosystem in the high site is specific so they will be the develop their the entire rainfed ecosystem into the four cropping pattern first kharif season that will be the first cropping season then it will be the second first rabi season second crop and the second kharif that will be the third crop season and the fourth one is the second rabi and fourth crop season in the irrigated flat land they are the taken to the two crop and be harvested in the every year by the neglection of the fallow period so what they are the doing they are the entire village area they will be divided into the two part and they will be the locally known as the sar one part is the mulakhari and another is the malakhari so entire village area they will be the divided into the two part one part is the as i said it will be the bulasari another is the malasari so they will be the basically grow the one segment which will be start from the april to the october in the one season in the crop season one which include the paddy banyard miller season and the season and the foxtail and the another half they will be the growing the alternative crop so firstly we will discuss the cropping pattern into the one sar then we will really understand this so after the harvesting of the crop season one they will be the start the crop season from october to may in this they will be the grow the wheat mustard and the barley and the third season they will be the grow the finger millets and legume and fourth season is the fallow period are the soul mustard and with the sallow period so one segment it will be the growing from here for example in the april 2022 it will be the start from here so if the 2022 2021 it will be the start here then it will be the 21 then the 22 we will reach here and second crop is the alternatively this will be the start from here the 21 year alternate year then it will be the start from here then it will be goes to the crop season second then the cropping season third and the fourth so when we are the cropping with this uh, summer season one half they will be getting to the crop season one and another half they will be getting the crop season second so in the winter they will be in the summer they will be get the biodiversity agro biodiversity of the paddy valiant meejan peasant sesame and the foxtail millet and the finger millet and legume similarly in the winter season they will be get from the half of the portion they will be get wheat mustard and barley and another portion they will be the get mustard so entire rainfed cultivated area of the village they will be the divided into the two equal part and they will be the cultivated two different type of the crop into the same season and they will be the bring all the type of the biodiversity in terms of the crop they will be bring into the their home and this study which will be the focus and the significant for the biodiversity in terms of the food medicine medical purposes socio culture and religious perspective 
So we are the analyze the input and output in terms of the energy and economic deficiency. And it will be the highly <coughs> decline the biodiversity technology and inverted in concern of the priority to the sustainable agriculture in the central Himalayas. So the case study which we are selected into the Langasu village, it will be the home garden. Based on the survey, the seven type of the land use will be selected. Home garden, settled rented agriculture, settled irrigated agriculture, permanent abandoned fallow period, pine, oak, and its scrubland, and analysis of the input monetary value, and cross check, what is, is it right and good for this? So individual crop system of the each ecosystem and attribute the land area of the different agro ecosystem in type of the seasonal and the annual basis. So input in the analysis, by the calculating of the manure, bulk of power, human labor hour, and the seed, and output analysis where the harvested of the majority separated into the edible fodder and the leftover part, the crop root and the stable component, and all component of the crop were dried at the 65 degrees centigrade for the 72 for the calculation of the biomass and weight and take the nutrient component. Input output measurement will be done on the basis of the quadrant and the plot level. And this is the portion of the statement. The settle is the, this one. And the total land is the, basically the 58.78 uh, hectare. So analysis, we are found that in the mixed cultivation, they will be the growing and it will be the beneficial for the monetary benefits. So it will be the much more biomass in case of the mixed cultivation in the crop season two, you can see here. The second crop, which will be the first one is the only the paddy, it will be the pure culture, monoculture. But in case of the second, that would be the include the paddy, banyard millet, pigeon, seasame, and the foxtail millet. Similarly, when uh, it will be the foxtail, wheat, and mustard, and in the irrigated, it will be the again high in case of this uh, paddy plus uh, black gram and uh, mustard and the wheat. So we are the found in the both the cases the mixed cultivation where the much more agrobiodiversity is the present, which will be very beneficial in terms of the biomass. And the human labor, as uh, I said that it could be the female centric. So you can see in the uh, most of the cases, it will be the involved uh, in the each and every field. They will be the involved by the human being, uh, women. Only the main will be the in included in, into the two things. One is the flowing and the harvesting. Rest of the things, the manuring, sowing, sorting, weeding, threshing and winnowing, everything will be done by the female. So we can say that it will be the women center, female centric agriculture rather than the male. Male will be involved into the only few activities you can see here. In this dotted line, you can see here it will be the very less proportion of the male in the here rather than the female will be the much more high. So contribution in the mandatory input output in the traditional agri ecosystem. So we will found the again it will be the much more beneficial in the case of the mixed cropping where the biodiversity is represented in the herd amount. Energy input output analysis were also done into the two levels, individual crop system of the agro ecosystem and the mean attributes of the unit, the area with the different agro ecosystem type of the seasonal and the annual basis. So again, we are defined 
the energy level, it will be the much more high in case of the, the mixed cultivation rather than uh, the mono cultivation. The mixed cultivation, we are the found again the same, will be the doing the crop and this. In the both the, in the irrigated and the man made system, it will be the found the agricultural land, which will be the much more in the case of the mixed cropping. The output input analysis is done and found it will be the much more in the case of the mix irrigated. You can find out this one, this ratio, it will be the high in the case of this. And the impact of the format manure in the cropping system, it will be the again, will they do and the find out if the scientifically true the crop and this involved in the research and we are given the different dose of the put uh, the organic manure and see in which category it will be the high. So we are found that if the 60 kg per 10, the inorganic material which is provided and it will be the beneficial. So biomass in the case uh, when we are putting into grain, there is the no much more increasement into this. So you can see it will be the good for the 30 kg rather than the others. So it will be the another half will be the parameter which will be the discuss the according to the, this manure, the different format manure and the we are carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, all are the going with the, because the any land with the required the CN ratio. When the CN ratio is the near about the more than the 10, then it will be the good for the fertilization and this one. So because the, in the land, this uh, organic carbon will be the coming only the after the death and decay of the plants and minerals and nitrogen is the coming from the inorganic to the weathering of the rock. But uh, when we are the given to the inorganic fertilizer, then it will be increased in the urea. The ratio will be the increase the nitrogen and the carbon. So net change in the concentration of the different farmyard you know. So you can see when we are the started the experiment over the graph and this. So it will be the initially in this uh, two category, it will be the minus. But when we are the reaching will be the 30 kg. So it will be the organic carbon will be the positive. Only in the case of this uh, Bula Sari, it will be negative. Because before to this, it will be the fallow period. In the fallow period, they will be not added to this. Rest of the component is the found the positive. So we can say it will be the more effective when we are given the 30 ton per hectare per crop season, then it will be the change into the soil condition and increase the nutrient value of the, this. So this study will be the so the farmyard manure which will be the increase and sustain to the cropping system and it will be increased. But nowadays because our the crop the livestock product will be the decrease. So our day by day activities the farmer will be the unable to give to the such amount of the farmyard manure. So it will be the one of the reason. So that will be the one of the reasons that uh, they will be the involved to the another type of the burmi composting and which will be the important to this. So basically it will be the increase the carbon stock in the solving. So this is the reason on which we can say this reason, the shrinking of the agrobiodiversity. So these are the reason because uh, our day by day activities is decreasing. So it will be decrease the carbon stock in the particular season. So any question you can ask me. Okay. 
so uh, completed the PPT? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. completed the session. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it will be completed. Uh, thank you. Please uh, stop the sharing option, Dr. Sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, learners, uh, please show your videos for a few seconds for our record. Just put on your video. Others, Deepak Kota and others. Okay. Others for Bikram Neja. Okay. Deepak Kota, Parut. Deepak Tiwari, Jain Das. Bikram Taleja. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm. 